my mini scholars friends and welcome to circle time i know as you can see circle time looks a little bit different again today but that's okay because we will be back together in person soon playing and having fun and for right now we wanted to say hello to you through our screens so hello i hope you're all doing well i hope that you're staying safe and healthy with your families at home and very much looking forward to being back together very soon so for our theme of the week, it was apples and pumpkins. And we wanted to talk about apples and pumpkins before we can get back together in person and we can do some arts and crafts with them, maybe carve some pumpkins or something like that. And um, yeah, that's what we wanted to start off with today. So apples, they are one of my favorite fruits. And I know they're one of yours because I see so many apples at snack time, right? So apples, are not just red, did you know that? Sometimes they are green or pink or even yellow and all different flavors. Sometimes they're sweet, sometimes they're sour like green apples, but they're always crunchy and delicious. And apples grow on trees. So when they grow on a tree and they're ready, a, an apple picker can come and they can pick those apples and they can bring those apples to the grocery store or to the farmer's market, and that's where we can go and we can buy them uh, to eat them. Pumpkins are a little bit different. Now, we always think pumpkins are orange, right? But pumpkins are actually all different colors, and we'll see this. Maybe we can even see in person when we're back what a white pumpkin looks like, but white ones do exist. There's sometimes yellow pumpkins or even green ones. Pumpkins grow in a patch, not on a tree like an apple, and they're much heavier and bigger. They grow on vines in these big pumpkin patches, and um, we can go and we can uh, actually pick these pumpkins when they're ready. They first have to be planted with some seeds, just like some of our very favorite healthy foods. Um, and then just the same as apples, we can go pick them ourselves at pumpkin patches in the fall or other People can go and pick them and they can take them to the grocery store or the farmer's market as well and we can go buy them and eat them from there. Or maybe we take them home and we make some really delicious um, pumpkin seeds in the oven or we carve them for Halloween and put them outside our house with a candle inside. Um, so that's one of the things that we really wanted to be able to do with you guys before Halloween and we're so excited to see you so. then. We are going to start off by singing our apple song and then I wanna teach you a pumpkin song that's also very fun. And our pumpkin song kind of has something to do with our story time we're gonna do later today. So our apple song is very fun because not only do we get to sing about apples, but we get to learn how to spell the word apple. So we've talked about the letter A, that was our first week of mini scholars. We went through the letter A and the word that we always use for the letter A is apple. So we're gonna talk about how to spell it today in this song. So I would love for you to sing along with me. I'll put the words at the bottom. Here we go. I like the fruit that's red and sweet and apple is its name, O A P P L E. A P P L E, A P P L E, an apple is its name. Oh, I like the fruit that's green and sour, and apple is its name. Oh, A P P L E, A P P L E, A P P L E, an apple is its name. Oh. Good job, everybody. Now we are going to learn one of my very favorite Halloween songs called Five Little Pumpkins. Now, I'm gonna put the video here with the words underneath so we can all sing along, but our five pumpkins are all having feelings, just like what we talk about in Mini Scholars. Maybe they're feeling happy or sad, but I want you to guess as we sing which feelings our pumpkins are having. Let's give it a try. One little pumpkin smiling, smiling. One little pumpkin smiling, smiling. One little pumpkin smiling, smiling. One little pumpkin is happy. Two little 
pumpkins pouting, pouting. Two little pumpkins pouting, pouting. Two little pumpkins pouting, pouting. Two little pumpkins are grumpy. Hmm. Three little pumpkins yawning, yawning. Three little pumpkins yawning, yawning. Three little pumpkins yawning, yawning. Three little pumpkins are sleepy. Four little pumpkins crying, crying. Four little pumpkins crying, crying. Four little pumpkins crying, crying. Four little pumpkins are sad. Five little pumpkins laughing, laughing. Five little pumpkins laughing, laughing. Five little pumpkins laughing, laughing. Five little pumpkins are playing. My friends, thank you so much for joining us today for singing with us, for learning with us, and we can't wait to do it with you in person very soon. So in the meantime, again, stay safe and stay healthy with your families. And next, we're gonna read a story time featuring some of our pumpkin friends from our pumpkin song. So I hope you enjoy and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. So today we're reading a book called It's Pumpkin Day, Mouse. Mouse has seven pumpkins to decorate. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Mouse paints a happy face on this pumpkin. This pumpkin is sad. This pumpkin has a silly face. This pumpkin looks surprised. Hmm, one of the pumpkins is missing. Eek, what is that? Boo, dog made a scary pumpkin. Now it's time to make some friendly pumpkins. Happy Pumpkin Day, Mouse! The end. Hi, kids. It's Teacher Nikki. Um, I hope you are behaving at home and uh, uh, eating a lot of vegetables and uh, healthy food um, and having fun at home. Today, we're going to do a pumpkin craft. We're going to use apples to do an apple stamping pumpkin. Craft. Um, it's very simple and it's very fun, and I hope you can enjoy it. Um, for today's craft, uh, what we need is apple and any sort of paint. So we're gonna use the orange color here, and if you have a brush, it's it's um, very useful. And also uh, one black sharpie and one um, green sharpie. Um, and of course, the piece of uh, paper. So this is what it looks like. 
um, after we finish it. And um, now let's start. So first, we're gonna paint the half of the apple in orange. This has already been painted, so if you have a fresh cut apple, just gonna put all the paint, just brush it over gently and cover it up. Um, or you can also dip it into a big ball of paint, but I, I don't have any other painting materials. So this is all I need to, um, this is all I have. So I'm just gonna use this little brush to brush my apple in orange. And then once you're done, we need to do just simply press this on this piece of paper. One, two, three. And you will have a very nice looking pumpkin. But something's missing. What we need is we're gonna draw something to make it more realistic. And you can create your own pumpkin face. This is what I like about my pumpkin face. Some scary, scary face. And ta-da! There you go. Very simple, very fun to do at home. And I hope you will enjoy it.